Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and another video on Marvel Contest of Champions. It's like I can't put this game down, though gaming addiction is a thing nowadays, so hey, we're all addicts, so it's kind of like a council meeting. How are you doing? Are you staying away from gaming? No, we're addictively playing Marvel Contest of Champions. We didn't break addiction, yay. The whole focus of this video is all about Massacre. This is a champion as part of the content contributor program that I get to use. I do get it taken away from my account so I don't get to keep it, but this video will probably be released about the same time as the crystals are released in Marvel Contest of Champions. First up, let's talk about the signature ability. This champion is not going to be one that requires an awakening to be absolutely amazing. It is a really good champion when he is not awakened. So, hey, if you're going for the crystals, you go for the crystals. If you only want to go once, then you can only go once. The main thing to really say is signature ability allows for increased amounts of critical rating and power when it comes to debuffs or no debuffs being on the enemy. The only downside is that the incinerate debuff then kind of like cancels out that kind of signature ability which is kind of annoying <laughs> I, I kind of like thinking like having one or the other is that is that meant to complement and the answer is well no the signature ability doesn't complement therefore if it's applying a debuff effect from incineration very strange and what I mean by that is that you're not able to kind of maximize that power as well as critical rating because the, theoretically you're looking to incinerate and that's where you're kind of looking to maximize as much damage as possible in practice with the guys the footage that you'll be seeing in this video it's all about creating a huge amount of incineration damage to kind of make sure that you're killing off the enemy very quickly but you don't have to play it that way i just found that it was quite fun to then take out the enemy with a lot of incineration and apply applying at sometimes about 20 stacks of the incineration and as well looking to kind of maximize bleed as well off the l1 that's my personal playing method you can play the game how you want to with that i just found that bleeds and incinerates were two amazing things especially with the synergy bonuses which we'll have a look at in a moment it did allow for some increased amounts of fire and flame as well as bleeds I'm not going to stab myself, but yeah, you get the idea. So I briefly mentioned synergies. I'm going to quickly go over what he has. There's a lot of champions being represented in here, and especially like a lot of things that make small differences to Massacre to improve him. Not a lot of other champions being improved, and Kabam do go through this stage where what they do is they go, hey, we're not going to go back and buff old champions. We're going to create new synergies, which are going to theoretically buff them, so we don't have to do all the hard work with reworking a champion. It's just there for future improvement. So to begin with, we've got Gold Pool or Goldberg Pool, and we've got Depl X Force and Stand Deadpool, and it adds 200 more critical rating when going up against a champion that is bleeding, which I think is a really, really good one there. So if you're looking to kind of match him up with anything, Massacre can match up well with those particular dead pools. So I'll get in the pool. For Massacre, Ignite's duration increased by 25%. This is really important to kind of improve the damage dealing for incineration and the, the general kind of working of the standard abilities, not the signature abilities, but the standard abilities for the champion. And can work well with Gwenpool. What's not to love about Gwenpool? Fantastic champion. As well, she gets the increased debuff uh, that have duration increase uh, for 25%, the incineration debuff for 25% increased time. Not a huge addition to what she's got, but still it's good enough to get make you kind of go, well, that's a bit more incineration damage than normal. Either way, then you've got Domino, um, which doesn't really add much uh, in the way of uh, improvements to her. But it does mean that there's something for Massacre, which is more important to kind of build up those ignition charges. And if you build those up quickly, then you're getting into then, you know, putting in more incineration damage in the future. So that is a good pairing up. And then you've got stuff with regards to like evading and like improvements with regards to um, uh, more ignition stuff with regards to blocks and other stuff with uh, Daredevil and Red Hulk. But I just don't think they're it's totally amazing to, re to work a team around this particular character of Massacre. The main thing to really say about this champion that is important to mention is the playing style. Your playing style for this champion is there's a big emphasis on blocking and hitting block champions and the damage that you then deal back is then represented either in it being positive for things like building up ignition charges for then reducing down accuracy in certain areas as well as block proficiency 
which I, I guess is fine, but for a lot of players, they may not actually enjoy that type of playing standard. Yeah, there is great damage dealing with regards to incineration, but at the same time, you may ask yourself, do I want to play in a certain way that maximizes certain things and improves certain things when it comes to damage dealing? Do I want to play in this certain style? And maybe the answer for certain players is no, which then does beg the question, do people really want to go for this champion? However, there are a lot of positive things going for Massacre. The, uh, the L2 seem to be a thing that Kabam are going for where they increase damage by certain means. So, for example, we had Captain America World War II uh, where, you know, you did more powerful L2s by um, kind of like building up certain charges similar, well, not similar to this champion, but the other champions like Bishop, like Proxima Midnight, that Kabam seem to come entering in that have more powerful L2s. I mean, that's a given in any case, but there's more emphasis on it. I just feel there's more emphasis uh, in, in how you do it, so how you build up for it. Um, the same thing can be said for this one where you have to put effort into it in order to kind of maximize damage and that is all about hitting the champion the enemy champion when he's blocked you get plus a certain amount of attack obviously depending on storage that you've got of champion and depending on probably rank the amount of attack is going to be increased by a certain amount but you want to get that if you hit the champion, enemy champion, when they are blocked. In various different ways I played the champion, I did find that I was building up to the L3 quite a bit in order to put in more of incinerate damage and just kind of like start regularly putting this in. My final thoughts is maybe the playing style I was using was incorrect for this champion to maximize the damage. I did find that I enjoyed putting in the large amount of incinerate damage and kind of mixing about with bleeds and other effects. Yeah, I could have kind of mixed and matched the way I did it and largely it's a case of learning this champion a bit more. I was applying the L3 to put more damage in over a space of time uh, because it's lar large amounts to kind of uh, to have. I could have done things where I didn't try to put so much of an emphasis on doing debuff effects in order to kind of maximize that signature ability. But I just felt that that was, uh, it just felt a bit boring. So the main emphasis obviously was playing the way that I did. I think that uh, this wasn't a champion for me. I didn't overly enjoy the champion, but that happens from time to time. There may be champions come in that personally you don't like to play with. And that's the, that's the same thing. It was like, okay, so I can't hype this champion if I don't enjoy it. And I didn't overly enjoy it. So I'm going to throw this over to the comment section. What are your thoughts on Massacre? Is a playing style, a kind of a way of playing that you find would have been better to use in order to kind of maximize the damage output for this champion? Would you agree or disagree to the signature ability being the making of the champion with regards to hitting through on non-debuff effects or applying loads of debuff effects and kind of slowly putting the pain through incineration your thoughts in the comment section below i've been rich the man if you enjoyed this video hit that like button and subscribe for more marvel contest the champion space content make sure you hit the notifications on the little bell icon so when my videos pop up you get to see them and as always i shall catch you on the flip side bye bye for now but in all seriousness, I've got this champion to review. Uh, he's doing a crazy dance at the moment. This isn't going in the main video. It's probably going to be an outtake.